Well, hello boys and girls. So good to see you again. It feels like it's been so long since I have made a new video. I've been putting some of the other ones up and it is just such a thrill for me to be able to draw with you this next picture in our series of the wild crat animals. And boys and girls, we've got a really special creature to draw today and one that I think can teach us a lot of important lessons about being a good neighbor. So are you ready? Do you have your paper and your pencil and your imaginations? All right, boys and girls, here we go. Just before we get started though, I wanna share with you some of the wonderful artwork that was sent in to me. Look at this, we have our, um, oh, what is that guy? The, the Draco lizard, that's right. This is uh, drawn by Zane. And this is our aardvark that was drawn by Eli. Boys and girls, I simply love it when you send me all of your work. Keep doing it, stick with it. I wanna see the masterpieces that you are making. So boys and girls, today's animal, I am so excited to report, is the busy beaver. Boy, these guys sure can get a lot done and they change their entire neighborhood for all kinds of good reasons. They make extra habitats for their friends and neighbors uh, and uh, they are just amazing little creatures. So let's get started with this drawing. We are going to start right here with the beaver nose. So look at that. If that's the middle of our paper, we just scoot it over just a little bit. All right, boys and girls, and we have a fine beaver nose. Uh, started off there. Look at that. It looks a little bit like a rainbow line. And it looks like we're going to put a little, almost like a funny looking W there. Look at that, boys and girls. And we have a beaver nose. And as fun and exciting as beaver noses are, you know, boys and girls, the most interesting thing about a busy beaver are those amazing chompers. Look at that. Boys and girls, you probably already know this, but it was fun for me to learn. A beaver's teeth will never stop growing. So all that chewing on the wood they do to build their happy little dams for their neighbors and their little beaver lodge that they can keep their family safe in, that's what keeps their teeth a reasonable size. Look at that. One of the crap brothers said that if they were to keep chewing their teeth would be four feet long in a year. Can you imagine that, boys and girls? Oh my goodness. Now look at that. We've got some beaver eyes. We started out with two upside down smiles and we did a couple rainbow lines and look at that. And there are some eyes. Oh my goodness. And we can color those in later, boys and girls, and want that just looks so nice. Now, what we're gonna do is we are gonna come into either side of the eyes here. It looks like we're making a little parenthesis. You see that? And now we're gonna make a couple teacup handles. Uh, of course, that beaver would, he loves his friends, so he would have enough cup handles for him and his friend. Look at that. All right, you see that? And just like that, we've got some little beaver ears. And we'll give them a little bit of hair here. And oh my goodness, we've got a beaver head. Can you believe it? They were telling us that a beaver changes their environment so much. It gives the moose and the other animals that like to eat all the soft plants in the pond a little something to snack on. Oh my goodness. They just make things great for everybody. A big pond for the fish to grow in. All right, boys and girls. Well, this guy, I think he's taking a break here. He is, or she 
is holding a nice little branch here for their dam or their lodge. All right, you see that? It just looks like, I don't know, it almost looks like an L and a backwards L there. Look at that with curvy edges. All right, and we're gonna put some little paws on there and just come right back with those lines and maybe up a little bit. Look at that. Oh, and even when we're drawing a little branch, it still reminds us of our Y trees, boys and girls. Aren't those special? We sure do love to draw our Y trees. And there's his little branch. That might be just what we need to finish up our dam. All right, and then we're gonna have his little beaver tummy. Look at this. It just comes right through everything. Look at that. And boys and girls, remember you just pause anytime you want to to catch up with me, that's okay. I'm just gonna draw the, I've already got a head start, you know. And boys and girls, what you don't always see are all the times I mess up before I finally get my beaver the way I want, want him to look or her to look for you guys. So I can have three or four or five or six of these in a sketchbook that you'll never ever see. You just see the finished one. And here we go. We've got some little beaver legs. Look at this. Kind of looks like we're making a two and a backwards two. Can you believe that? That's all it takes to make a happy little beaver. Oh my goodness, boys and girls, can you believe how quickly our beaver is shaping up? Look at that. Now, uh, if somebody doesn't know a lot about beavers, they might think we're finished. But boys and girls, I know I can't fool you. You know the most special part about that beaver is that big old flat tail that they have and they'll use that to pat down the mud on their dam, and they'll even slap the water with it if some kind of trouble's on its way. Aren't they amazing animals, boys and girls? And it is just amazing to have the chance to draw this beaver with you. Look at this, boys and girls. We can put a little texture on that tail. I haven't got to say that word with you guys in a long time texture now that's a fun word look at that and that's exactly what we're doing look at that boys and girls isn't that nice and you could fill that with all kinds of different shapes you know why because this is your picture boys and girls this is your area you're in control you make this picture just the way you want to i'm almost finished boys and girls i might show a little tree that this busy little beaver's chopped his way through. Look at that. And in the background, boys and girls, if you wanted to, you could make the beaver lodge out here in the middle of the little lake that they made by damming up a river or a stream. Look at that. It's made out of sticks and mud. And underneath there, they can swim right up under and isn't that special? Well, boys and girls, I sure have had a great time drawing this happy little beaver. I hope you have too. You go right ahead. You can make the dam. You can make some other animals. You can decorate it however you want to. You just have a great time. And I hope you've enjoyed making this as much as I have. You have a terrific day now. Bye-bye.